first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your supplies to get started to clean the cup loaders. And that is all usually kept down here. And the only thing you need is the bucket and the sponge, which is usually in the bucket, and warm water. And a big towel. This only needs to be about a quarter to half full. You don't need a ton of water. Okay. And then you just start with the machines. And I like to take and just start with the lid and my sponge is pretty wet and I start on the interior lid and I'm paying attention to all the corners of the lid because that's where the soap and the gunk starts to build up and pretty soon you can't open and shut the lid. So that's how we do that. And then I go to the corners again. That's where the most gunk gets built up along the top, along the front, and the whole thing. And then I just leave it wet. And then I just move my bucket and I just keep going on. And I do that for all the machines. Again, paying attention um, underneath the slit, if I move it, getting all that soap and gunk out of there, because again, over time, it'll get so built up, you won't be able to open and shut the lid. And this just really kind of wrecks the appearance of the machine, so it's just a once over. Again, I just keep moving And it's real quick. Area again underneath the lid and these front corners, the corner here, and then the rest is just for kind of show. We'll get that later when we dry it with a towel. See the buildup starting already under these, and that's what you want to avoid because then it becomes a much bigger project when you have to use the lime boy and get all that out of there. Overall, pretty good though. <laughs> and then I just come back with the towel. And it's just over the tops. Make sure the coin boxes get dry if you got them wet, because those tend to rust out faster. And just a once over on the lid 